Hello friends, today I will discuss the numerical problems on auto transformers. So let me take a first problem. A single phase 15 kVA 600 by 120 volts transformer is to be converted as auto transformer with following ratings. Find kVA rating of auto transformer in each case. A bit 600 volts by 480 volts B bit 600 volts by 720 volts C bit 120 volts by 480 volts so here he gave the single phase transformer primary voltage and secondary voltage and its KVA rating as a two winding transformer what he is asking is what is the KVA rating of the auto transformer when their input voltage or the primary voltage and secondary voltages are given as in A, B and C bits. So when the problem is given like this, with respect to the two winding transformer windings, we have to find out what is the current capacity of the each winding when it is a two winding transformer. So let me draw the two winding transformer parameters like this. This is a step down transformer that is 600 volts primary, 120 volts secondary. So let me assign high voltage winding terminals as H1, H2 and this is the iron core and the LV winding is represented with x1 here and x2 here and we know for a transformer the kva rating whether we measure at primary side or secondary side it remains same that is v1 i1 is equal to v2 i2 is equal to 15 kva so this 15 kva is given from the data and the primary voltage is given as 600 volts and secondary voltage is given as 120 volts. So, in this case, first of all, find out what is the maximum current capacity of this 600 volts coil or winding. So, we know the current flowing in the primary winding is I1 and the applied voltage is V1. So we write I1 is equal to KVA rating that is 15 KVA divided by V1. So then that V1 is nothing but 600 volts here. So 15 into 10 cube divided by 600 will give us 25 amperes. This high voltage winding that is 600 volts winding can carry maximum 25 amperes current. So next, 120 volts winding current capacity. So here the current that flows here is, is I2. The terminal voltage we represent with V2. So V2 I2 is equal to 15 kVA. So from that we can write I2 is equal to 15 kVA divided by V2 like this. Then so that is equal to 15 into 10 cube divided by 120. This V2 is nothing but 120 volts. So once we simplify this, we get 125 amperes. So this is the low voltage winding current carrying capacity. So this means high voltage winding current capacity is less, whereas the low voltage winding capacity is more. So while designing the auto transformer, these two things we have to keep in mind while calculating the KVA capacity of the auto transformer. So A bit is given as uh, it's uh, converted, this two winding transformer is converted into auto transformer whose input voltage is 600 volts and output voltage 480 volts. So to get the 480 volts as secondary, so we have to connect this secondary, that is low voltage winding like this, X1, X2. 
so that means their dot conditions will be like this this is h1 this is h this is l lv winding this is hv winding so current entering the hv winding and then flows through the lv winding then leaves the dot so that means the voltages across these windings resultant will be the the difference of the voltage capacities of these windings so that is why we call them as these windings are series opposing so 600 minus 120 that 120 comes because the x1 x2 capacity the voltage rating is 120 so when we connect like this we get uh, 600 minus 120 that is 480 volts as the net output voltage that is load voltage like this and if you look at this this lv winding current capacity is 125 amperes so that current we can allow here and we know what is the load voltage that is 480 volts it is given in the problem itself so we know the load current and we know the load voltage so we can calculate what is the kva rating of this auto transformer that is let me say this is sa is equal to 480 into 125 divided by 1000 it will give us 60 kva next b bit so the auto transformer input voltage or the primary voltage should be 600 volts whereas secondary terminal voltage or the load voltage load terminal voltage should be 720 volts and we know what is this lv winding rating voltage rating that is 120 volts whereas the high voltage winding rating voltage rating is 600 volts so to get 720 volts as the load terminal voltage these polarities the high voltage winding polarity and the low voltage winding polarity should be series aiding that is like this current enters the 600 volts coil first and then goes to the 120 volts start dot point so then so when the current enters the dot in both the coils then we say the voltages across the windings are series aiding so that is 600 plus 120 so we get 720 volts like this and the connection is x2 here x1 earlier x1 was here x2 is here so now it is x2 means series aiding so we know what is the current capacity of the lv winding so we know the what is the current that flows through the load because this lv winding is connected in series with the load so that lv winding current only flows through this load and we know the load terminal voltage as 720 volts so we can calculate what is the kva rating of this transformer so let me say this auto transformer rating is sb is equal to v2 i2 what is v2 it is 720 volts and i2 means the load current is 125 amperes divide with 1000 that then we get 90 kva as the auto transformer rating next c bit the auto transformer primary voltage should be 120 volts secondary voltage should be 480 volts that means lv winding is made as the primary winding while the 480 volts is the secondary or the load terminal voltage so we know what is h1 h2 that is high voltage winding voltage rating is 600 volts whereas the lv winding voltage rating is 120 volts so when we subtract this means when the their uh, polarity x1 x2 lv winding and hv winding polarities or dot convention or 
opposing each other like this then the difference will we get across these two windings that is 600 volts is here and 120 volts winding is here hv winding here lv winding here so current enters the dot here flows through this lv winding and then leaves the dot so the they are series opposing that is 600 minus 120 is the terminal voltage or net voltage across these windings so that is 480 volts so then what is the current that flows through this volt load so whatever winding is connected in series with that is is the current capacity of this load that is hv winding is connected in series with the load and we know what is the current capacity of the hv winding so that current will be the load current and we know the load voltage so load current is also known so v2 i2 will give us kva rating of this addo transformer let me say this is sc is equal to v2 i2 so v2 is nothing but 480 i2 is 25 amperes divided by 1000 that will give us 12 kva so let us take a another problem so for the following ideal transformer find the primary number of turns to transfer maximum power to 2 ohms resistor see here we have the source here and we have the 8 ohm resistance here and here secondary turns are 40 turns and the secondary resistance is 2 ohms to transfer maximum power from here to here what should be the number of turns on primary side that is here to get this first of all we have to transfer this secondary side resistance to the primary side to apply the maximum power transfer theorem when we want to convert i mean transfer this 2 ohm resistor to the primary side we have to multiply this 2 with n1 by n2 whole square what is n1 n1 is nothing but the primary number of turns of the transformer whereas the n2 means secondary side number of turns secondary winding turns that is 40 turns that is given so we write n1 by n2 whole square into 2 and that must be equal to 8 ohms to transfer maximum power to this 2 ohms so once we calculate that is n1 by n2 we get root of 8 by 2 so we get root of 4 so that is 2 we know what is n2 that is 40 turns so we can calculate what is n1 n1 is equal to 2 into n2 that is 2 into 40 so that we get uh, 80 turns so 80 turn, primary turns are required to transfer maximum power from primary side to the 2 ohm resistor in the secondary side. So we have seen how to convert a two winding transformer into addo transformer with specified voltage rating and its KVA rating also. And second problem is, so how to, what are the conditions to be satisfied in the two winding transformer to transfer maximum power from primary side to the secondary side resistance.